So I'm out here at FIS Outdoors right now, just purchasing some uh, mulch. All right, so I just left uh, FIS Outdoors and uh, really nice people there, great service. Bulk, the, the, the nuggets did go up in price a little bit. It's about $4.60 a bag now. So a little bit more money than it used to be. You guys, if you ever end up having to replace your bark or mulch, do yourself a favor and call around to some local irrigation landscape companies and see if any of them will actually sell to general public. Not all of them will. Some of them will only sell to contractors. But if you find one that does sell to general public, I'm telling you you're going to get a much better deal, a much better quality product typically than what you're going to get from the big box stores. So definitely call around. It's worth it. You save some money, you get better quality product. So today's Friday the 17th, and I know I haven't filmed in a little while, guys, and I do apologize for that. It's just been super busy and complicated to get filming done this past couple weeks. And I did end up filming, though, my weigh-in for Sunday, which was kind of disappointing. But as you guys can see in my weigh-in for Sunday, um, it was a little disappointing because it was actually the same weight as I weighed the previous week. And yes, the videos are different if you go look at it. I actually did literally weigh the same exact amount again. This week so far, I've been doing pretty good with my food eating. I've only had Uber Eats three times this week, so not too bad so far. Today so far, I think all I've had today is my lunch from Nutrisystem, and that's it. So I'm pretty hungry right now, actually, and when I get home, I'm probably going to eat some Nutrisystem food. I do want to start actually recording what food I eat and then like talking about it because I think that's going to be good to have. I do have something being delivered today, which I'm excited to tell you about. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video until that package arrives and I start working on that project. Oh, hey guys. So back at home now, the bark's in the back of the truck. I'm gonna put that down tomorrow. But for today, I have another little project that I'm gonna start working on. And it's something that I wanted to do for a while. But first, I have to clean up this little cabinet area here. So what I wanna do is take all this stuff here out because it's pretty much storage and doesn't look that good. And then I also need to take out my magic cards from down here below because I'm going to be using this for a special project and I want to take you guys along for that journey and I'll, I'll show you what that project is going to be in just a minute but I want to get this set up first so I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff around here and then we'll come back here in a minute all right guys so as you can see behind me got the space cleared out except for one box that's behind me and that box is my kind of project that I'm gonna be starting up here so without further ado I got myself an arrow garden. I want to try to get healthier, which is I'm on the Nutri system. But one of the things with Nutri system is you do have to add vegetables and stuff like that to your sides because you don't. They don't include that with the meal, so you're encouraged to eat salads and stuff like that. But whenever I buy salads, it most it lasts a few days in the fridge, and I also don't buy in bulk. And when you don't buy in bulk, it becomes quite expensive. So I figured, let me try this. Let me pop in some romaine lettuce here and see what ends up happening with uh, this arrow garden. Pretty excited to give this a shot, but let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it looks like, huh? So as you guys can see here, I got this thing set up right now. Um, pretty actually simple setup, to be honest. All it really is is taking off a couple pieces of tape and basically plugging in power to the back. This is all USB connections, which is pretty cool actually. So this, this part here just kind of goes in and then it's a USB connection into the base and into the light. And that's pretty much it. Now, this thing does come with a starter kit for herbs, which is pretty cool. Um, and it comes with everything you need to get started. It comes with nine pre-seeded pods, nine grow domes, and then it comes with plant food and quick start guide. But I really don't wanna do this right now because this is gonna be a curly parsley uh, thyme 
an Italian version of parsley, chives, mint, dill, and basil, which I'm not really that interested in doing uh, herbs, to be honest. I really want to do lettuce. So I did buy the Arrow Garden lettuce kit. So let me go ahead and grab that and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the Romaine Arrow Garden seed pod kit. So this comes with nine preceded pods, just like the other thing did. Nine grow domes, plant food, and quick start guide. So pretty much all you got to do, I think, is just add water um, to make this work. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open here and see what's involved in getting this thing set up. Uh, real quick before I get started too far into this, uh, I do want to point out this does come with like a, a like a level razor thing. I think this is for kind of helping keep things that are growing tall in place. Um, I'm not going to use this right now because from what I've read, you don't really need this for the lettuce. So uh, I'm not going to use this currently, but it does come with it. All right. So these are the little pods that it comes with. And I hold that in front of my face just so it zooms in okay. So they just kind of go in the holes that are there. And they have little sponges with the seeds already in them, apparently. And you can actually kind of see the seed in there a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but there's like, looks like three seeds, maybe two seeds in there. And yeah, we just put this in and I think we just water it, but um, it says it's processed in one to seven days. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this to the indicator line, I guess. So let me go grab water and fill this up. All right, so I got it filled to the fill line and let's look at the next step here and see what we gotta do. So if you have plant select feature, choose the option that most closely matches the varieties you're growing. Use plant spacers to cover any pods and holes not being used. Um, did this come with plant spacers? Oh, it does not look like it comes with any spacers. Uh, plant spacer 25 pack on Amazon. I think for right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up using some cardboard. So I'm just gonna cut some cardboard out and put it over the top for now. And that'll have to do until tomorrow when these come in. But at least it'll kind of cover it for now and hopefully work okay. Plant your grow pods by inserting them in the grow deck. Set the grow domes and click OK to continue. So let's put some of these guys on here, shall we? All right, so I'm putting four of these on here. This way there's plenty of space to, uh, to grow. I think if I filled everything else up, it's going to be too tight. Next up here, we're going to put these caps on. So it comes with a bunch of caps. I'll put one on that guy. I guess they just kind of sit on there. And this is supposed to help with the germination process for seed. Right here's not really sitting flush. There we go. All right, caps are on, click OK. Add plant food, use amounts instructed on plant food packaging. This is the plant food package right here. And what does it say? It says nine pod model, which is what I have here. So two capfuls of startup and second feeding, and then three caps every two weeks thereafter. Your air gun is ready to use, click OK. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> that is bright. So this thing is incredibly bright. As you can see, my camera is even having trouble with <laughs> filming in the light on me um, as I'm talking to you here. So I will stand in front of this to hopefully block some of that light out so you can see me a little bit. But this thing lights up that whole cabinet, but that's OK. It's in the family room. It's not going to cause any problems. I'm excited to see where this takes us. Hopefully I'll get some lettuce within a couple weeks and maybe three weeks, something like that. And I'll keep you guys updated every week on how this is going. All right guys, so uh, doing today is gonna put it down the bark here. We put it down the bark out here and uh, let's go and get started. So this is the bark I picked up yesterday from FIS Outdoors and it's just uh, premium decorative ground cover, three cubic uh, feet per uh, bag here. So let's go ahead and cut this open here. And we're just going to start pulling this around. All right, guys, so we got the uh, bark all laid out here. 
they actually gave me one extra bag, which I'm glad, because uh, it took all 11 bags to get this covered. So I got the other side to do, but I got some clean up over there to do still. And I want to finish cutting the uh, palm trees back before I go through and put the bark on the other side. But for now, this looks pretty good. I'm going to come in probably tomorrow or the next day and just spray any weeds that pop through. But after that, it should help keep everything down for a while. So, cool. I'm going to go inside and relax a little bit, play with the pups, and then later today I'm going to make a trip to Home Depot. So, I'll see you guys later. All right, week away, weigh-in time. Let's go ahead and do it here. 